Now, what are the different types of hydraulic fluid? So, why we studied the different properties? We studied the different additives which can be added to improve the uh, characteristics of the hydraulic fluid. But we should know what are the basic hydraulic fluids that are available. Uh, the first and most commonly used hydraulic fluids are the mineral oils. Uh, whenever we say mineral oil, it is usually a petroleum based uh, oil. So it is having several advantages. It has got very good properties. It has got very good lubricity. It has got very good lubricate uh, viscosity index. So very many properties are very, very good. So whenever we say petroleum based oils, the one of the main disadvantages is their tendency to catch fire. So they are uh, very prone to fire accidents. So that is why their usage is slightly limited when it is controlled whenever you are using it at high temperatures. Otherwise, they are having very good properties of lubrication. They are having very good viscosity index. Their uh, other properties in general are also very uh, good and they are readily available. So that is another uh, good advantage. The main issue is the fire accidents. Now there are different categories of the mineral oils available. So if you say HH, uh, type HH, which means there are no additives present. So whatever is the mineral oil that is present, there can be different grades of uh, mineral oils readily available. So you can use any one. So if it is specified as type HH, which means there are no additives present in it. So any uh, characteristics are fixed by the oil itself. If you are having a category say HL, that is another type of uh, mineral oil, uh, HL, which means it is having certain additives uh, for with, to withstand the oxidation and rust inhibitors. So it is having these two additives. So you are having oxidation inhibitors and also you are having rust inhibitors. So you can use this HL hydraulic fluid where there is a chance of high temperature and where you are having a chance of rusting. So if you are having these two chances, that is if you are using it in say highly moist uh, environments or high humid environments or where there is high levels of oxygen present, then you have to use the HL because HL will prevent the oxidation, it will prevent the formation of rusting on the uh, inner surface wherever the hydraulic fluid is present. The next one is HM category. HM means it is having the oxidation and rust inhibitors as well as it is having the high anti-wear properties. So this HM uh, category can be used for very high pressure applications because under very high pressure applications you will be having lot of forces and under these forces the hydraulic fluid should form and maintain a very thin layer of oil to prevent the uh, friction between the metallic surfaces. So if you say HM category of hydraulic oil, which means it can be used at high pressure applications. So these are mineral oils are there. You are having different grades of mineral oils and you can add certain additives to improve their performance. The main disadvantage of the mineral oil is uh, its fire catching uh, tendency. The next kind of hydraulic fluid is water. Just ordinary water with some uh, purification to remove all the unwanted salts and uh, contaminants. Advantage of water, it is very cheap. It is readily available. Maybe you have to do some kind of uh, filtration. Now, what is the disadvantage? The primary disadvantage of water is it's a very low viscosity. The viscosity of water is very, very less. Even if you are adding a lot of additives to improve the properties, it is not very feasible and the maintaining of the water uh, properties, even with addition of additives, is not very convenient. Another advantage of water is it has got very good heat absorption and heat dissipation characteristics. So very quickly it can absorb the heat and if you are leaving it into the atmosphere, it can give away the excess heat. But the main disadvantage is it's very low viscosity and also it's very poor lubricating capabilities. So it cannot uh, do very good uh, lubrication because under pressure, it will simply, the water film will simply break away and the metal to metal contact is going to be uh, formed which will increase the heat which is not a good thing for a hydraulic system. So the next kind of oil is a fire resistant oils. So whenever we say fire resistant oils, uh, their main idea is to ensure that whatever the limitations of mineral oils are there, that is to catch fire, that is completely eliminated. So these fire resistant oils, there are three basic one and the last one is a synthetic oil. Synthetic oil is the custom engineered oil which will be having the required characteristics that is expected of a hydraulic fluid 
and their cost is also very very high as compared to all the other hydraulic fluids so synthetic coils will be having special additives inside them to improve the properties so they are custom engineered hydraulic fluids for a given kind of application and since you are custom engineering them you can make sure that it is not having any chance of catching a fire the other three fire resistant oils are based on water so they are always having the water content so this water content in the oil will ensure that even if the oil catches fire because of the presence of the water the fire will get extinguished and the continued burning of the hydraulic fluid will not happen so that is a fire resistant oil the first category is water glycol solution so glycol is actually a anti freezing agent which means if you are adding the glycol solution ethylene glycol to a fuel its freezing temperature is going to reduce so this glycol is also having some good lubricating abilities so if you are mixing glycol and water in the ratio of 40% water and 60% of glycol that will form a very good uh, hydraulic fluid the next fire type of fire resistant oil is water in oil emulsions so you have to mix water and oil so if you are leaving it as it is without uh, mixing the uh, hydraulic fluid water and oil are going to be separated that is why we are having emulsion which means they have to be properly stirred and they should be kept always in some kind of motion otherwise the oil and water are going to separate so the ratio is 40% of water and 60% of oil so here the properties will be more closer to the uh, oil than it is closer to the water because there is higher content of oil in the hydraulic uh, fluids but because of the presence of oil uh, it will be having very good lubricating the properties and because of the good amount of water present in the fluid it will also have very good heat dissipation characteristics its viscosity will be at a moderate level because you are having both water as well as the oil the third one is a oil in water emulsion so oil in water emulsion means you are using only very little quantity of oil and you are using a large amount of uh, water so the properties will be completely like the uh, water and this oil whatever is present it will be only helpful to may improve the lubricating property of the hydraulic fluid so even though these are uh, some very good hydraulic liquids uh, their usage is limited because uh, water whenever it is present it has got a tendency to uh, corrode and the metallic parts that is usually the steel parts which are present in the walls the cylinder the pumps so they are not very much used usually synthetic oils or the mineral oils are very commonly used for the hydraulic applications because of their high pressure high pressure rating they find more and more increased uh, usage so water glycol solutions you are having water in oil emulsions and uh, oil in water emulsions in all of these things what happens is because of the water content present there is a very high chance of this uh, insects and other things which are coming and entering and it is going to create some uh, other issues associated with the living organisms or living matter which is present in the hydraulic uh, fluid so whenever you are using this water based system you have to add certain chemicals which will not allow the uh, formation or living of any other organism otherwise these organisms can multiply very quickly if you have seen your roof you will see this patchy which is forming on all the moist surfaces so same thing can happen even in the hydraulic oil also if it is a water based one then this uh, all this material if it is going into the pump or any other system it will create more and more problem so what you have to add certain fungicides or other uh, compounds to prevent any uh, living organism from living in the hydraulic uh, fluid that is the water based hydraulic oil now apart from this whenever you are using this water based uh, hydraulic oils or hydraulic fluids the water has got a tendency to evaporate even though you are not increasing the temperature if you are if you are just keeping it open to the atmospheric air it will have a tendency to evaporate so when the water is evaporating the percentage of water in the hydraulic fluid is going to drop when the percentage of hydraulic fluid is going to drop the properties will shift away from the water properties it will become the properties of the other elements which are present so the properties of the oil water will be lost which are low viscosity which can be very good thermal uh, heat absorption and heat dissipation 
these properties of the hydraulic fluid will be lost. So whenever you are using a water-based hydraulic fluid, periodically you have to keep on adding a uh, clean water to the hydraulic system to make sure that the concentration of the hydraulic fluid is as per the requirement. So this is one thing we have to remember. 